Hey, welcome back to Strength Club Health and Fitness. Today's topic is protein sucks, and I mean exactly that. It has taken on a mythological status in our society due, I think, primarily to Dr. Atkins and then to all the marketing nonsense that's come afterwards. So let's break this thing down and let's get it accurately portrayed for what it is and for what it isn't. A protein is a macronutrient. So revisiting quickly, there's three macronutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. You get all your calories from those three macronutrients, no place else. Once those macronutrients have been met through calories, you no longer need any more of the macronutrients. So if you're not starving to death, in fact, if you're overweight or you're gaining weight, you get plenty of the macronutrients. What you should be concerned about are micronutrients. We'll talk about that later. I've talked about it in other videos. Macronutrient, protein. The protein itself is used to build tissue. Generalizing, of course, it builds body tissue, skin and hair and fingernails and muscle and all kinds of good stuff, right? It's also used in hormones, for instance. It's used in enzymes. It's an important macronutrient. Without it, you would have disease. But the problem is, with too much of it, you will get disease as well. And people are using it for weight loss. They're using it for everything. And that is one of the reasons why we're so sick. Dr. Atkins was 72 years old when he died. That's premature death, 80s. That's regular lifespan, 84. In fact, the lifespan is coming down. You know why? Because people are eating so many animal proteins, constantly eating animal proteins. There's no nutrition in it. Once it's been met, it becomes a disease stimulus. So Dr. Atkins dies at 72. He didn't die of slipping on the ice like his PR company would like you to believe. He died of a heart attack. He had a history of congestive heart failure. He had a history of heart disease. He was 40 to 60 pounds, and I'm probably being conservative, overweight when he died. He had a history of not being well. Why would you want to copy that diet? And then all the marketing that's taken place and all the trainers who think they know what they're talking about when they're pushing supplements that are protein bars and protein shakes and protein this and protein that. It's crazy. The whole thing's crazy. It's people not understanding or people understanding very well and they don't care. They just want to make a buck. There's nothing magical about protein. Quite frankly, it sucks. And the more animal protein you take in, the more likely you're going to have disease and premature death. The less of the animal protein you take in, the healthier you're going to be. And that is if you're replacing the animal protein with vegetables and fruits and beans. I'm not a vegetarian. That's not what we're talking about here. We're simply talking about human health. And when you take a macronutrient like protein in excess, it is going to cause disorders. So if I put too much oil in my car, I'm going to destroy the engine. Just the right amount of engine, or engine oil and it'll be fine, right? It's the same concept. More is not more. More is a lot less. Quit abusing the macronutrient protein. You're not going to lose weight eating a bunch of it. You're not going to gain weight eating a bunch of it. You're simply going to destroy your health. If you want to lose weight, you need to look at the calories. How many calories you're taking in and how many calories are you burning? That's how you lose weight. If I put you on 800 calories of Snickers bar diet and we do that for the next 30 days and before I put you on that Snickers bar diet, you're eating 3000 calories of whatever the hell you wanted, you're going to lose weight. That's how every diet works. They're just using the macronutrient protein to cut your calories or at least attempt to. It is unhealthy. It is not good for you. Protein has no micronutrients in it, has no fiber in it, and that is what your body is starving for. That is what keeps your body and mind running effectively. So if you want to live a long life with pretty much no disease and pretty much no premature death, because I do, you should be eating vegetables, fruits, and beans. Put the animal protein down, Certainly do not go out of your way to buy more protein in a shake or in a bar or any other way they want to put it into your shampoos or into a rub to put on your skin. It is literally at ridiculous status. 
put it down and walk away. And anyone else who says they need to be using protein or taking one of these things we talk about, shake your head. Tell them no. Certainly don't buy the product. It's your responsibility to take care of your health, not just for you, but for those who depend on you. I'll see you in the next video. I'll probably be in a better mood then.